Welcome to the Garage Woodworks Video Podcast. Does this look familiar? Are you also getting poor results out of your table saw? Well, most often the poor results are simply due to an inadequately tuned table saw. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly tune your table saw so you can get the optimum performance out of your saw. Okay, so the first thing I like to do in the alignment process is make sure that my table saw fence is exactly parallel to my miter slot track. Um, and to do that, I like to use something called the TS Aligner Junior. Um, which simply consists of a dial indicator attached to a base uh, with bearings on the bottom which ride in your miter track. Now I have seen example jigs on the internet to do something similar uh, with a dial indicator and a base that rides in the miter slot, but uh, you, really can't, uh, you really can't beat the, uh, the versatility of this tool. Um, it does a lot of other uh, different things that are useful in the shop. Uh, so for the money, you really can't beat it. But uh, go ahead and use uh, whatever you have at your disposal uh, to align your uh, fence to your miter slot track. The first thing you want to do is you want to move the jig to the front of the table saw and adjust the dial indicator uh, to zero. And then when you slide the jig uh, to the back of the table saw, you should again read zero on the dial indicator. And if you don't, what that means is your, your fence is not exactly parallel with your miter slot. Now mine is showing that it's off by about five thousandths of an inch. Uh, so if I needed to, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and adjust my fence to get it even more parallel than what it is now. The next thing I like to do is I like to make sure that my table saw blade is exactly parallel to my miter slot track. Now what you need to do is you make it, need to make a mark on the blade uh, towards the uh, outside of the blade with a sharpie. Um, now since this is already the third take for this, I already have a dot there. Uh, and I go ahead and put the dial indicator on the the dot and adjust the dial indicator to zero. Now the next thing you want to do is roll that dot to the back of the table saw and again take a second reading. Now if you do not read zero on that second reading, that means your table saw blade is not exactly parallel to your miter slot track. Now because I know my fence is exactly parallel to my miter slot track and my miter slot track is exactly parallel to my blade, by default I know that my blade is exactly parallel with my table saw fence. Now the next thing I like to do is check for arbor and flange runout. The arbor is this threaded portion which holds your table saw blade onto your table saw and this back portion is the flange. Now I like to use a uh, dial indicator which is attached to a magnetic base in order to check for the runout. What you want to do is put the plunger on the back portion of the arbor where there are no threads and uh, adjust the dial indicator to zero. Next thing you want to do is rotate the arbor by spinning the belt. And you should see no movement or virtually no movement in the uh, dial indicator needle and for my table saw I don't see any at all. So I know I have no run out on my arbor. Now the next thing you want to do is check for flange run out which is this back portion. Now the best way to check for flange run out is to go ahead and tilt your table saw to 45 degrees so you can have better access to the flange and rest the plunger on the uh, surface of the flange. Now again you want to rotate the flange by using the belt and check for any run out on the dial indicator and I see very little movement in the dial so I know that there is virtually no run out on my flange. Okay so those are some of the things that I like to check uh, to make sure that my table saw is running at optimal performance. Uh, we made sure that our fence is exactly parallel to our miter slot. We made sure that our miter slot was exactly parallel to our blade and again by default uh, the two are parallel with each other. And we also checked and made sure that our arbor and flange had no run out. So uh, thanks for watching.